And you know, I, you know, I don't want to send the police on a wild goose chase. I need, I need uh, some confirmation here. So I happened to be watching one day, and I was watching him log into his credit card account over VNC. And it's a good thing, isn't it, that his bank's security is strong, and he's got this image identifier that's protecting him from phishing attacks. Doesn't that all make? Doesn't that make us all feel warm and fuzzy? But there we go. Logged in. There's the address. So that goes off to the police. But while the police are doing their work, uh, let's take a, a closer look at this guy. Let's get to know him a bit. You know, he's, he's using my computer. Who is Melvin Guzman? Well, Melvin Guzman is the kind of person who spells his own name wrong on his Facebook page. His main activity is taking photos of himself for online dating sites. And when he saves those pictures, he just mashes on the keyboard. So my stolen computer, my beloved Mac, is being used by someone less competent than a typewriting chimp. <laughs> but you know, maybe if he's stolen an infinite number of computers, we might figure out if the complete works of Shakespeare could fit in a Mac OS X file name. But thanks to his self-portrait obsession, I hereby present the many sexy faces of Melvin Guzman. I'm sure the ladies love that one. The profile seems to be very important. Wink, wink. And, and all the ladies out there, this man is available. C contact me if you would like his phone number. Now, I'm sorry to anyone who wanted to see the full Monty here, but when, after I originally submitted the slides, the DEF CON staff told me that they might have trouble when they uh, put the videos of this talk um, on, the, uh, on the CDs that they have for sale afterwards. And they might have some trouble with the AV company if I left it in. So I had to search for something to cover up uh, the wiener here, if you like. But let me just say that when I searched for DEF CON logo images on Google Images, I only had to search for icon size. If, if you've ever wondered what photographers mean when they say make love to the camera, that's what they mean. <laughs> and after making love to the camera, he doesn't mind cuddling it afterwards. <laughs> but this seems to work, all right, because the sexy ladies of the internet responded and it worked out for him. So here's what he was receiving back. So at, at last he found the fat booty he was looking for. It, I assume so. But here's a side note on online dating techniques, right? I don't know a lot about this. But I noticed when I was looking at the keylogger that there were a lot of control Vs. And I found out why that was from watching in VNC. This guy would write a message once and then copy and paste it to literally hundreds of women. I think this used to be called the shotgun approach. But I don't think they make shotguns that can hit 200 targets at once. So I think we, maybe we need to call it the nuke from orbit approach. <laughs> and finally, an interesting bit of info, uh, considering this is a guy using a stolen computer, uh, he's, he's taking an online course for criminal justice. I, I think he's enrolled in my online course for criminal justice. But armed with all the address information that I was able to give them, uh, the police were able to go and recover the computer. In fact, I think they did that the day after I submitted these DEF CON slides, uh, after the deadline. And it taught me some lessons uh, that I thought I would share with you. Um, first of all, obviously, my security of the machine, uh, in, a, in a data security uh, sense, um, in terms of not encrypting the hard disk and letting it boot into single user mode, was shithouse. But uh, that if I'd had better security, then I would never have been able to recover the computer. Um, if, the, if the guy couldn't log into it, if he had to wipe the, wipe the drives, um, if he couldn't reconnect it to the network, um, same deal. So I actually recovered the hardware and I did recover some of my data. Um, 
Some of it had been erased, but I got a little bit of it back, and I set up rsync scripts every time it was online to pull in more and more of the stuff. So I often wonder if he was paying for bandwidth as well, because every time it would connect, like I'd be slurping gigabytes of stuff back down his dial-up. <laughs> um, the second lesson is a lot of these services are potential vulnerabilities against a trained threat. Like everyone here is thinking, oh yeah, you know, you're running VNC, and if you're not tunneling it over SSH, then you know, you're, you're totally making a mistake. Um, especially also having a daemon that tracks the IP address of wherever this machine moves, especially for if this was a mobile platform. You know, I'm, if I was running a DynDNS upgrade on my laptop, people would know where I was all the time. So that would be bad against a train threat, but very good against a low-tech threat. So it's all about sort of threat modeling and remembering to buy that $20 deadbolt. Another thing, uh, the keychain versus keylog. I'm one of those guys that never really trusted the keychain, you know, because it's a simple, single point of failure. It's got everything in it. Like, what if you could get into it? But it's actually like a, a, an interesting defense against keyloggers, um, which is something that you're more likely to have on your machine from spyware and stuff. Um, there are more sophisticated keyloggers. There are ones that log mouse movements and clicks and things like that. But for a very basic keylogger, having forms and passwords and stuff just fill themselves in automatically when you're logged in once. Um, you know, it's potentially protective. Uh, and then finally, having my serial number was great. Like being able to give that to the cops, file a poli police report, meant that the hardware could be recovered. Without that serial number, there's no way. So put, write that down somewhere. And then the final lesson learned, of course, uh, I'm sure you all know, don't fuck with a hacker's machine. Thank you. <laughs>